In this question we are told that a cart is being pulled by exerting a force of 50 newtons on a handle at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. We are asked to determine the work done in pulling the cart 20 metres. This is an example of where we can apply our knowledge of vectors to help us solve the problem. The first thing to do would be to draw a picture representing this information. It's always a good idea to draw a picture so as you get a clear understanding of what's going on. So this is our cart. It's being pulled with a force of 50 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. And we are asked to determine the work done in pulling this cart 20 metres. Now there is a formula for the work done. It's equal to force times displacement. where the force is in the direction of the displacement. Now since our displacement is in a horizontal direction, we need to find the part of the force that's also in a horizontal direction. So we need to resolve our force into its horizontal and vertical components. So this is our force of 50 newtons. It's our angle of 30 degrees. So this is our horizontal component of the force. And this is the vertical component of the force. And we have formed a right angle triangle. So it's a good idea to label your triangle. So this is our angle of 30 degrees. So the vertical component is the opposite. This is our hypotenuse, the 50 newtons. And our horizontal component is the adjacent. Now we are interested in the horizontal component since that's the direction of our displacement. So if you remember the cos of 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Multiplying both sides by the hypotenuse. Gives us this. And filling in then the hypotenuse is 50 newtons. The cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. And our adjacent is our horizontal component of the force. So this is 25 root 3 newtons and this is to the right. So this is our horizontal component of the force. So now to find our work done, it's equal to force times displacement. So our force is the horizontal component, it's 25 root 3 newtons times your displacement is 20 meters. So this is equal to 500 root 3 newton by meters, so it's newton meters, and this is equal to 866.03 newton meters, and this is the work done.